College Board is overhauling its SAT process, but it's not about the questions this time. Now, every student will get a so-called adversity score. It weighs 15 factors to try to capture their social and economic backgrounds. Things such as poverty level or the crime rate in the student's neighborhood. They say race is not a factor in the score. 50 colleges already used the system as a beta test last year, and now it will expand to 150 institutions this fall. But students won't even see their adversity score. Only admissions officials will view it. What the College Board is doing is giving admissions officers context to look at SAT scores and see those students who may not have scored as high on the SAT, but given their context, have accomplished amazing things. Now, with this new program rolling out, local schools are reacting to the challenges that come along with it. 13 News Now anchor Jacqueline Lee spoke to nearby colleges about how they will implement the plan. Critics of the SAT argue historically the exam favors students who have more access to resources. If a student comes from a family, well, one, where they can pay for tutoring, then that gives them kind of a leg up. Mary Carter Scott helps students at Norview High School in Norfolk navigate the college application and admissions process. She thinks the new adversity score will even the playing field among students. I was thrilled to see this because historically, you know, students disadvantaged and low income students have not scored as well. Christopher Newport University is reacting tonight in a statement saying, at Christopher Newport, we have long focused on learning as much as we can about a prospective student and their strengths and challenges. We welcome a tool that may help us deepen that understanding in important ways, and we look forward to learning more specifics. College Board CEO David Coleman explained the new score aims to measure a student's socioeconomic status and what he or she has overcome. Or for them to be able to identify, okay, this is a school that has a high free or reduced lunch rate, or this is a school where students don't traditionally score well on the SAT. Taking all of that into account will show, you know, that there's more going on here. In Norfolk, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.